And this morning, we are bringing you live coverage of the total eclipse of the sun. We see behind us now a shot from an airplane over Portland at an altitude exceeding that of the cloud cover that now covers most of the city. Boyd Levitt is in Goldendale, Washington. Let's see if he can talk to us now. Boyd? So, we have hundreds of amateurs here on the top of Observatory Hill in Goldendale. Uh, they've been in sleeping bags, they've brought their breakfast, they have their little cook stoves, many of them with tripods and cameras and telescopes. Most of them amateurs, Don, and most never before, just like most of us, having seen a total eclipse of the sun. The next one visible on the United States, from the continental United States, will be in the year 2018. That one will fall along the East Coast. A lot of uh, folks looking out their window right now, and uh, it is a safe assumption, I think, that a lot of work isn't getting done. That tiny sliver of light is the sun, 93 million miles away, all but obliterated by the moon. Very much smaller than the sun, but only 200,000 miles away, and thereby almost matching it in size. That's the last sliver of the sun disappearing in downtown Portland. The skyline as shot from the roof of KGW's transmitter building and the corona. The solar corona. Oh, the diamond ring effect. And we try to lock onto that shot. That's an incredible shot. And the skies in Goldendale, Washington. As the totality phase approaches there, they are two minutes behind Portland. As you can see, barely see, almost imperceptible, the light fade in Goldendale. Boyd? Yes, Don. I, you, I hear that you saw the shadow of the moon approach you there in Goldendale. Uh, we, Don, are on very high ground here on the top of Observatory Hill in Goldendale, where, incidentally, the sun has just now come back again. Uh, and we could look to the west for, oh, my estimate is a good 95 to 100 miles. And we could see that shadow hurtling out of the west. It's something that you, you don't know how to describe, this massive darkness coming at you. When it got dark, uh, any fear go through your mind, or what was your reaction? I got a little shaky. I actually did get a little shaky because it was light and then it got totally dark, and uh, it was just such a you know incredible feeling. This is what the eclipse looked like as we saw it just a few moments back above Portland. That is the shot of the corona, usually invisible except during a total eclipse.